Hey, hey guys. It's been a while since I posted. Uh, so, just a little update. About five months ago, I um, bought my 15-year-old son a, a car for his 15th birthday. A little 2009 Honda Fits. Um, not a bad little car. He really liked it. But it's an automatic. And he decided he would like to have a stick shift car. And would like to learn how to drive one so i was i was cool with that most kids these days don't know how to drive a, a manual transmission stick shift car so i was like cool let's do that but we'll have to sell the honda first so i posted the honda on facebook market within an hour i had it sold some people bought it for their teenage son so me and gavin found this little 1996 bmw z3 two-seater roadster kind of a mouthful but it's a five-speed uh, manual and uh, car runs really good but it is a 26 year old car so it is not perfect uh, paint especially on the hood is rough clear coats coming off but we're gonna get that painted uh, the bumpers have some bumps and bruises but there's not any dents on the car just um, scuffs on the bumpers and in the hood um, having some clear coat peeling on it uh, but really I'm not really concerned with these scuffs on the bumper uh, this is his first car that he's going to be driving in the real world here in a few months when he turns 16 and it's probably going to get beat up anyway usually a kid's first car is so not too concerned with that but I would like to get the hood repainted so it does look a little better and I may even go ahead and get the scuff done on the bumper uh, depending on cost um, so yeah like I said it's a 1996 BMW Z3 Roadster it runs really good um, has a new top on it the previous owner um, actually the previous owner didn't do the new top the story he gave us is that he didn't even have the vehicle very long he bought it um, from a bank that um, was a repo that I guess the bank had had for several months because he said he had been seeing it sitting there for several months and uh, inquired about it and ended up buying it for his wife well, she, uh, I guess, didn't like the manual transmission, couldn't figure out how to really drive it or whatnot. Um, so he decided to sell it. So uh, bought it for Gavin. But um, from, I guess, what he was told, the car had a new top on it, uh, new tires, I think he said, new brakes. Uh, the interior, as far as the seats go, have been redone. Because, again, it's a 26-year-old car. And these old BMWs don't hold up very well cosmetically, especially on the inside. Um, but the interior is in good shape. The car is original um, from 1996, other than having, like, the new top on it. Uh, there hasn't been any mods on it typical z3 fashion these door handles break off so this is one that i just now put on and um so yeah I, this little power mirror thing doesn't want to go in there very well and i think it's just because it's a an old handle from like 96 98 and it's just the heat has kind of warped it so the little gizmo uh the power mirror uh, controller doesn't want to go in there very well but at least it has a door handle for now um i even had to do some jb weld to the handle uh inside of the door handle so it would screw on to the door um the inside door panel part uh so i'm going to tell gavin he probably doesn't want to grab a hold of the handle and pull the door closed. You might want to grab it here or maybe even by the glass.
because I don't know how long that's going to hold up. Found this one, super cheap. A uh, guy had a Z3 that he was parting out, sold this to us for $25. We went all the way to Chattanooga to, to get it, uh, which was like an hour and a half away from us. So a total of three hours to go get this piece because online, this is like the cheapest I found online new was 300 bucks. So we were like, mm, we're not really doing that. Not now at least. Uh, we'll see how this holds up. We may end up having to pay that eventually, but not at the moment. Um, so interior, in a lot of old cars, uh, the dash tends to crack. Uh, so there's no cracks on the dash. Gavin's da uh, dice, he loves those things. He had it in the Honda. Typically, the glove box on these start to sag, they can kind of hang down. They're attached, but where it latches to starts to sag. Uh, luckily, it's not doing it on this one so far. But yeah, all in all, the interior is in pretty good shape. Nothing uh, beat up or torn up or ripped up about it. Uh, stereo is aftermarket, uh, but I believe that's several, several years old too. Um, so we'll probably eventually switch that out with something that's Bluetooth uh, capable. So Gavin can Bluetooth his music to it. He had some CDs uh, that he's already put in here to use in the car. Which I was surprised he even had CDs. Because um, I don't even have any CDs left from back when CDs were popular. So I thought that was kind of odd for a teenager to have CDs. But yeah, all in all... Not a bad little car. Everything works on it. Heat, AC, works. All the lights, turn signals, all that stuff works. Um, not a bad little trunk. It's not super tiny. I mean, it looks like it would be smaller than what it is, but he's probably not going to really carry anything in it. But yeah, that's Gavin's new old toy. And as far as him learning to drive the five speed manual, he has done really, really, really good. He picked it up so quickly. I remember way back in the day when I first learned to drive a stick show, I, within a week I was out driving it by myself. So um, if Gavin was, 16 and had his driver's license i wouldn't be worried about him driving by himself in it and uh, changing the gears the way they're supposed to be changed so he's done really well um so yeah that is that is his 1996 bmw z3 roadster and so far he's loving it um he has figured that uh driving a manual transmission in town kind of sucks because you don't no more get in the gear that you need to be in to you got to get out of that gear but anyway thanks guys uh and we'll probably be doing some mods to this vehicle uh, eventually and i'll do some video of that really so far i think really the only mod we're planning on doing is changing out the tail lights uh, I think two, three years after the car came out, they changed the tail lights. Still the same shape, size, all that, but where that is has the orange turn signal, it is a clear turn signal. It just really updated the look of the vehicle. And I uh, found those pretty cheap on eBay, so I think we'll probably switch those out. It's an easy thing that we can do without a lot of work. So yeah, anyway, let me know what you think about Gavin's little car, and thanks for watching.